Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining in. If you're new here, please karibu sana and don't forget to subscribe. Because Ababu today, as you can see, we're shooting at night at this different location with Madam Hapa and Anakuja Kupia story yake motto about her wedding, you know, her dating process until marriage, you know, until that's such time as I may I do. Don't have to those juicy, juicy stories. I'm going to a story if you can. <laughs> and I can't do like a sentence to it, to Kapadana Commission, a commission, Koana, eh, Nini, but I don't want to get into the details, Danny, Danny. So do remember to subscribe because she's going to be giving us her amazing story. And without further ado, I'm going to be leaving her to introduce herself before I have to answer. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, I'm Wesh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Wesh. <laughs> This is my shit. You're going to be talking about her dating story. So you're Mrs. I'm Mrs. Sam, Mrs. Kazuri. And they are blessed with one son. Mama Gift. Mama Gift. Jeremy. Yeah. So, to talk about your story, because uh, I know your story is so encouraging to so many people. Mm -hmm. It has inspired our friends. So, I know it was going to be, to be inspiring even people out there, outside there. So, let's talk about where. The journey started last time. We told you you are single, mm -hmm. and uh, we know you are single. And you could just have it. So you want to understand where did this story start? Were you praying at that time? Mm -hmm. Were you praying at that time? Were you asking God, "I want a man, mm -hmm. I want a husband"? Take us back to that time before Kitogo mm -hmm. too. So we could just have omit some the Mister Catholic. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Just like any other person, Kunamali Kifika, especially for a lady, Kifika 22, 23, you now start feeling like when you know, end up to 25 years, you start feeling that it's now the time you get out of your pilot mm. house. Then Kunaila stage peer, like Umamaliza Shule, Sasa Una feel that you need to do the next thing. Mm. So, mi nilikuwa naomba tu. Of course, sikuwa nimeambia watu wengi eti mnisaindia na maombi mm, like Otaka uh, buwana. Sikuwa mm. nimefanya hivyo. But you see, there are some close friends. Wale tu walikuwa like people will be like, ah, umetuwa mugi aji, umetuwa mugi aji. So, I was a little praying God and trusting God that atanipea mtu. But I never end. Uh, Yani, yu ile msukumo mingi, like I feel like maybe now and now. Mm. Yes, me sikuwa na hiyo. So, ikafika hapo, of course, there are people who come in, anakuja, you become friends. Naangalia, unaona huyu, mm. atuwezi make. Because you see, like, uwezi elewa mtu anataanga aji ya kiwa mbali. Mm -hmm. Lakini the minute, mnaanzia the friendship, unaona like, huyu siyezi ni kaendelea na yaya. So, I was there praying God. Na nilikuwa nimemaliza shule. That is campus. Uh, so, my prayer was just God give me a man who is God fearing. When the time is light. Mm -hmm. If this is the light time, let him come now. But I'm um, really waiting upon you. Then, kuna vile, you know, like I was telling God, ipatia mtutu mwenye anakusaf. A person who will be a good father to my kids, a good husband, and my desire, ile kitutu nilitamani sana, is this man mwenye tunasafu na yeye. Like, misi kuwa na six pack, mm -mm. account nono, mm -mm. but I desire good. Mm -hmm. I desired this man who really serves God. Yondyo nilitamani sana. You know, I was seeing it as something admirable. Ile unaindanga tu unapata. Bibi na buwana, they are in church. They are serving God. You can pray in the house. That is what I admired most. So that is what I was praying God. Na mimi kukuja kupatana na yule tulipatana na ya. So now, Sam, diyo nikajua this is the right man. Wacha kidogo, unenda mbio sana. So, <laughs> tuambie, uh, no, sasa tuataka kujua wa, mulipatana wapi, mm -hmm. mulipatana aje. Are you serving? Because you admired a man who was serving God. Mm -hmm. Was he serving when you met him? Of course, yes. Mm -hmm. So, mimi, 
imefika mahali nilikuwa linda wa youth mm-hmm. so na nikiwa linda wa youth at the legion level that time in the church you know we have the parish presbyterian legion na tulikuwa tunaziita the central the nationals so nilikuwa linda wa youth wa worship in our eastern legion ikakuwa wienda national mission na sasa lazima ningeenda being a worship convener that is what we used to call them that time being a worship convener ikakuwa lazima nikuwe part of the organizing team ya mission because unaona hii it is like more of the evangelism work so mi nikakuja hapo hiyo mission ilikuwa press by then tulikuwa tunajua ni Nairobi East Presbytery Kangudo na mm. ndeni Elia. Mm. So ikakuwa hapo then uh, that time kukuja kwa mission ground tulikuwa tunaenda mahali kunaitwa Kantafu mm. tukaambiwa the mission uh, area iko expensive sana than mm. ndeni Elia so we will have two stations we will have one group that will be left at Kantafu and another group itaenda mahali kunaitwa Ngununi. Mm. So ikakuwa I was to be in charge ya group yenye imeenda nguluni then there was a local arrangement that watu wanabaki kantafu wanabaki na one linda wa kantafu wa worship wa youth wa evangelism wale watu wanaenda nguluni pia watapewa the linda mm-hmm. so mimi nikafunga vilago nguluni is past kantafu mm-hmm. tukafunga safari nyingine sasa ilikuwa around i think 3 4 kilometers mm-hmm. tukaenda huko so uh, coincidentally mm-hmm. The person sasa nilipewa ku coordinate na yeye from the other person yeye alikuja kukuwa bwanangu. Eh, eh. So like mm-hmm. tulikutana tu tukiwa tuna support. So mimi nikaenda nikaambiwa nika introduce wewe nikaambiwa uh, this gentleman here anaitwa so and so mm-hmm. na ni ye wa huku mm-hmm. mtakuwa mna coordinate na yeye programs mambo ya instrument praise and worship program zote wewe work with this man. man. Mm-hmm. So we worked kwa mission with a man. Let me ask, was it uh, when you liona this guy mtana shati? Was he the uliona uko na hey, like this one? Uka, was it love at first sight? Mai when you liona what was your what is it was in your thinking? Uh, actually let me say that mimi sikutarajia that nikikuja hii mission huku ndio nakuja kupatana na mm. like my players itakuwa unsand tokiwa huku mm. so sikuwa na anything in mind i just saw a smart guy mm. serving god mm. and in fact you see those people who have gone to missions mm. wanajua how it happens kuna kuanga andi na prayer room mimi nilikuwa nabaki because you see I'm coordinating things. Sikuwa mm. naenda door to door. Na mm. nikibaki in that mission uh, in the prayer room mm. nabaki tu nikiwa naomba mm. you know God even as I serve you there is my prayer at heart. You know kuna ile mambo unaomba mm. tu kwa Mungu. So mimi sikufika mahali nifunguke macho nione like this guy Nie nataka mm. but i saw a smart guy mm. who is serving the lord okay yeah so after hapo you met in the vision ikakuwa it was was for a whole week right yeah a whole week now you are going back <laughs> <laughs> namba zilipeaniwa wapi ama what happened after <laughs> so there is this day i think it was day three of the mission mm-hmm. the one me nilikuwa na ubili day three oh day two ju day one ya level the tunika ubili the three ikakuwa tunabandilishwa venue so you see we are getting to talk mm. more and more with this guy the three nikakuwa ni mimi na program there was a elder alikuwa program sijui kukaenda aje and being a leader in case of anything we just step in mm. so i remember nikisimama tu pale kwa podium mm. nikasema tunaalika muhubili being the programmer And so my coordinator huyu mwingine wa hapa ako hapo by the way he plays the keyboard mm-hmm. so alikuwa anatuchezea keyboard na anacheza vizuri <laughs> so anacheza ako zile za personally nilikuwa naimba wimbo ya ku welcome the preacher mm-hmm. nilifurahi waliponiambia you know that mm-hmm. song and he played the music so good mm-hmm. and everybody sang along mm-hmm. So after nimeshuka pale mm. uh, my coordinator tells me 
na siungei mba hiyo wimbo mm. siungeendelea kidogo mm. vile imefuru vizuri kumwambia because of time mm. ah wacha tu tusikize mm. neno so we started a small cartoon kabonzo nikaanza vizuri sasa so, tukaanza kuongea hapo then he tells me situingie pale kwa hoteli mm. tukunywe kachai like tumekauka tumeimba kigosho mm-hmm. so si tukaenda tu kunywa mm-hmm. kachai mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember tulienda tukapata personal I do tea without sugar. Mm. Tukapata aiko. Akasema wewe mletae maji moto. Mm. So tukamalizia mm. hivyo and then uh, you know on the process nitapata tukapata ku change number. Mm-hmm. At this time he time yote anakwambia tukakunywa kachai. Are you seeing a pote- potential? You know a lady mm-hmm. can uh, 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 to be very sincere. Mm. Mimi sikuwa naona because you see we are very occupied mm. and being leaders amna time ya kuongea na mtu this guy maybe ni bwana ya wenyewe yeah, so ana ujijauliza <laughs> so ujauliza you don't involve yourself okay. you just stick to the purpose mm. you ilifanya muende hapo mm-hmm. so mimi sikuwa naona that was it mm-hmm. so tukamaliza tu tuka exchange numbers But now the brother became a concerned one. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. The brother became very concerned. Mm. You know like and he was able to mend he calls me mmefika mmefika. Mm-hmm. Eh so it goes now past the mission. So the mission ni mission lakini the brother is still asking. We have mlifika unasema I know. So at that point mm-hmm. I started thinking Jilani. Eh. Hey. Guy aziku kama wacha tupigie, nipige saa hii watuletee kesho waki. Nilisahau. Ebu nikiuliza njuu kuna huyo kazi yetu andi anakaa huku face tu anaweza tuletea by the way akikuja saa hii wacha nimuuliza poa basi Mimi ni best yangu Sasa yako na mbona Sisi pompe attention Mwanguka Mimi si pompe attention na na kufanyiwa kwa tarehe ya kuona Spending for basi So the brother became concerned mm-hmm. actually me at a, i don't think nilimuuliza ametoka wapi mm. i assumed uku ni kwao mm. so at this point tumefika embu is like mlifika and then i'm like eh hey, tuko embu eti uko andi ni kwetu aja uh-huh. mm. so tukaendelea sasa acha jitambuje paka kwao ndo wapi <laughs> yeah eti mm-hmm. ah uko ni kwetu salimiana mm. So I think at that point ndio nilianza kuona huyu mm. brother huyu brother sasa ana dugu mm. kuna vile concern ime mm. Mm? imezia from one point to yeah. yeah so nikanyamaza tu mm. the brother keeps on calling me and one thing led to the other but there is this one time mm. akanyamaza wiki mbili mm. Eh nikashindwa na vile nilikuwa na a good friend. Mhm. Ameenda wapi? Ameenda wapi? Uh-huh. Then as a lady unaogopa mm. kukua unauliza. Wewe ndio una, una approach sasa. Good. Mm-hmm. But uh, we we nikakaa nikaona let me just call. So mm. I call the guy and then like I turn mara mbili. Eti elo mm. guy ni wewe. Mm. Simu yangu ni sinachiwa tao nikapoteza na. Aya. <laughs> so the guy is really excited. Mm. Aki umefanya poa nilikuwa nashindwa namba yako nitaitoa wapi? Mm. Wow. So after half kwa sasa nimepigiana sasa ya pili. Ni wapi kwenye sasa mnasema tupatane mara ya pili. Sasa hiyo after the mission mm-hmm. am mtapatana tena. Yeah, so when, when did you meet the second time? Mm. I think the second time we are meeting mm-hmm. the guy comes to visit me mali nafanya kazi. Okay. So he before he anakuja kukuvisit, mshaongea, mshaanza like that mm-hmm. was another story mm-hmm. because uh, you know he is a shy guy. Mm-hmm. So alikuwa like to chat mm-hmm. ananiambia 
kuna kitu so anani text kuna kitu nataka kukuambia lakini nitakukola <laughs> then tukiongea kuna kitu nataka kukuambia <laughs> lakini nitatik <laughs> text <laughs> So mm-hmm. ilikuwa hivyo siku I think for almost 2 3 months mm-hmm. ikiwa akinicall na bado mnaongea mno text mnaongea yeah. mm-hmm. bana unaangalia unaona concern imezindi mm-hmm. like kama ilikuwa na kukola after 2 3 days sasa ni daily days. morning sasa you know. pia yako inakuwa like asipoongea inakuwa sasa you know niche. I feel that mm-hmm. There's something uh, that came in my heart mm. after to make a mission and my friend is calling me mm. there is something that came in me nikasikia ni call relief mm. like ile maombi Mungu amejibu and it's peaceful yeah you know uh, so much of peace mm. the guy starts telling me more about kwao mm. you see mm. that ikwetu ni huku blah blah you know blah dangu so mm. those things mm. so the second time uh, my friend is coming to see me but he has not said i love you let us date ni kusa ni meet mpatani yeah. mm-hmm. so unasikia ni nakaa nikiambiwa we nitaku sms kitu nataka kukuambia then kwa sms nitaku call kitu text So and um, uh, it happened that nika change press nilikuwa nafanya job mm-hmm. nikatoka chuka nikaenda na nyuki so i think the guy now akapata mm-hmm. college mm-hmm. akakuja kuni visit mm-hmm. huko akanikola akaniambia na nitakuja kukutembelea mm-hmm. of course when you are talking huko wapi hata nime uh, blah blah mm-hmm. so when he came there ndiye alikuja akaniambia sasa ile kitu mm-hmm. <laughs> amekuwa akitaka so hangeza kwa si kwa kwa call mm-hmm. hangeza kwa text mm-hmm. but now you meeting sasa person and sasa yeah. okay so akakuja mm-hmm. tukaongea akaniambia Uh, so this is what i wanted i would wish that he did blah 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 mm-hmm. wewe unaona aje to be very sincere mm-hmm. sidhani mimi nilimwambia acha nibaki niombe au kusema acha nifikirie <laughs> you know uh, uh, uh-huh. actually sikumwambia hivyo because this time we are meeting we are meeting like um, how many months after sasa tumetoka kwa mission almost 6 7 months wow na tumekuwa tu tukikuwa na conversation na kwa simu then ile maombi inside me nasikia Mungu amenijibu mm-hmm. like huyu mtu Mungu amemleta is the light man in mm-hmm. my life mm-hmm. so atakuwa na hiyo ya mimi sikumwambia acha nifikirie acha niombe mm-hmm. niuza okay hiyo tu ndio umefikiria mm-hmm. ndio umeona nawaambia i don't think mm-hmm. Mimi ni mtoto na we ni mtoto. Mm-hmm. So if for the last 6 7 months umekuwa tu you feel it mm-hmm. na mimi sita kuficha I to. still maybe I end the same feeling. Mm-hmm. By that time I was around 25 years. Nikamwambia mm-hmm. it's okay then. Let's give it a That's try. Right. Mm-hmm. Then tukaanzia hapo. Mm-hmm. Take us through the journey sasa. Umeanzia <laughs> amerudi Nairobi, kijana amerudi kama amepumzika, anajua mm-hmm. at least he. Uh, nimesema, hiyo yeah. kitu nimekuwa nikitaka kusema kwa sababu imenisumbua. Imenisumbua. Yeah. Ah, na utuambia how you how did you feel and what was your reaction after hapo? So, hapo mm-hmm. unaanza tu kushukuru Mungu that God amekuwa tu faithful, mm-hmm. amekujibu. Remember we were with this man for one week mm-hmm. kwa mission na mimi ni like sikuwa very keen na yeye but nilimlearn mm. because we were coordinating closely something that i did not tell you kuna siku moja huko tulipelekwa nguluni kulikuwa na children's home mm. so ikakuwa siku moja tumeamka asubuhi tunasikia wanaimba mm. mimi nikaenquire from our mama walikuwa natupikia ni nini wakaniambia ni mmoja wa watoto wa huku ako na baadhi na nikawauliza na amwezi mkatupatia nini cake eti huku tunaimbanga tu hatuna uwe mm. uwezo eti lile hit me mm. so mi nilipanga tu jioni kwa revive ya jioni tufanyie huyo mtoto bash nikaenda east mart ya nini ya tala, ya tala nika buy cake ma sweet my friend who we are coordinating mm-hmm. with 
akanipata eti a ah, acha ni kuongeze mm. so ile ta comes to tell mm. me sama alikuwa na two points <laughs> hey. okay so ile ta comes to tell me mm. aliangalia huyo ni msichana na ko na hiyo ro mm. and he feels that god this is the person mwenye mm. wife so you, both of your prayers were answered yeah okay. yeah tu vile aliona nimefanya hivyo mm. na vile alikuja kwangu nikajibeba mm. aka feel eh huyu ako sawa so mimi na mimi vile ameni approach na vile nimeona ana staff mungu because mm-hmm. i remember there is one evening tukipiga uh, tukikula sapa alipiga simu mm-hmm. akasema nitachelewa kukuja we funga nduka mm-hmm. so i saw this man ni mtu wandi anaacha kazi yake mm-hmm. anaenda ku kusafu so wewe what point, at what point did you know that this guy is mm-hmm. the one ndio atakikuja huko kunyanyuki ukasema sawa tukitaka to date ni sawa so there is this time after to make a mission during mm. the mission me nimemuona then i end prayed prayer mm. prayers nikaambia mungu like if the, when the time is right mm. give me that man mm-hmm. na usi unipatie like focus mm. let it ikuje nisikue nimechanganyikiwa nikuwe mm. tu nime focus na staki confusion mm do something unajua ni vitu gani we Mungu nakuambia nataka mm. nilete mwenye yako hivyo like mm. kama niyo ya kusafu Mungu because i really admire families that used to serve God together nipatie tu huyo mtu mm. so after tumetoka mission amekaa kinifuatilia ndio nikaanza kuuliza na huyu mtu wako aje then nikienda kuomba ile maombi ya Mungu nipatie a life partner mm. ah, nasikia i should not request eh, ni kama maombi yako imejibiwa god so you should be thanking god yeah. mm-hmm. so and then at that time sikuwa like niko na huyu na huyu na huyu ameniuliza mm. so alikuwa like huyu ni yele kiki yangu mm. wako close na mimi mm. yao so kijana umekubali umesema mm-hmm. tunaweza date mm-hmm. ametoka nyuki ukijiwanga this is my girlfriend this is my boyfriend mm-hmm. coaching is starting mm-hmm. how was that like um i also that it was it was good mm-hmm. and challenging at the same time kwanza lafi kiwa moto moto everybody desires mnaonana Huh? Every, no and then lakini like, yetu ilikuwa distance relationship mm-hmm. so we we end a, a good time kwa sababu hakuna kuzoeana mm-hmm. but at the same time ilikuwa a little bit challenging for us <laughs> it was a little bit challenging for us mm-hmm. because you see mimi mali ninafanya kazi by then i was working in a church institution staki kukosea mm. you know it was like a taboo kuonekana na mwanaume anakuja mm-hmm. kuja yeye yeah, pia yeah, i understood from me mm. aku anataka eti mm. watu wakae kumuona analeta mm. msichana na nini na nini so it was a little bit challenging for us but we purposed to it mm, yeah, yeah. Mm, that is amazing mm. so hiyo kudet yenyu ilikuwa na ile yenye watu wanasemanga did he meet you know as a as a woman mm-hmm. every time you're praying and even waiting mm-hmm. you always have those expectations of the guy anataka mwenye atafanya hivi you know i think mm-hmm. dating should be like this so government a date akikuja nitembelea ama tukienda kupatana mm-hmm. kuna gifts involved did he meet the expectations you had ama Um of course he never met every expectation mm-hmm. but he met the basic expectation number one, he met the expectation of a god fearing mm-hmm. man mm-hmm. number two, i really want tender humble man mm-hmm. like in my family mm-hmm. we have been br- uh, brought up in a very peaceful environment kwetu hatujawahi sikia eti furaha za mama na baba kwetu hakuna walevi bla bla mm. so sikuwahi taka nikitoka hapo kwetu eti mm. naenda kuolewa mm. in a setup iko na all those dramas mm. so i met that mm-hmm. i think the only expectation i could meet sikuwahi taka mwanaume mfupi wewe ni wale wa shop man <laughs> Mm-hmm. But again he is not very he's short. He's not very short. I really think that he is short. Uh, see, um, see, 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 see. I told her that nilitaka mtu mrefu kuniliza. Zaidi. Lakini sasa mm. ikafika mahali tuko 
Mm. I I saw it on my wedding photos that way. <laughs> <laughs> like I think the villain delivered here to your wedding. So I think I'll meet Nazilea commit the grace was sufficient for me to adjust. Yeah, because God, the people are told, God does not give you what you want, he gives you what you need. Because you have a good person with a good character. Yeah. Because God gives you what you need, not mm-hmm. what you want. Yeah. So I guess that is an amazing thing. So, so after Apple, well, I know, I know for many ladies, not mm-hmm. all, but many, mm-hmm. they desire to have a wedding where mm-hmm. they can honor their parents mm-hmm. and honor God, you know, such stuff. <laughs> so was it, uh, wake, ilikuwa, yeah, yeah, and, attack, I'm a, like, uh, and when did you even start preparing for, for marriage? For so, the wedding? Sorry. for the wedding, mm-hmm. after many Uliza, mm-hmm. we, we took around one and a half years now. Mm-hmm. Dating. Uh, to before, think... and everything mm-hmm. else. Sasa si we are dating. Mm-hmm. We used the whole of our twenty was it twenty fifteen or the whole of our twenty sixteen to lead to me a two hivo conversing mm-hmm. hivo mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. for friendship mm-hmm. to kaenda kwa once year twenty sixteen mm-hmm. to kaenda kwa to once my dad akasema hata kumbuki nani alikuwa hapo juu tulika sana kitambo turundi eh, what was causing you not to get married you know to do set up love for, for the wedding um i want to say that aku are very stable mm-hmm. pocket wise jumi hata sikumbuki i don't remember ni the supply si wa mara ngapi ya so yeah yeah alikuwa na uoga aliogopa sana i remember at some point and tuliamua tufanye harusi on wednesday 12th of mm-hmm. december you know the sister that i love like at 2017 ju aku are well up mm-hmm. and of course personally i was not well up mm-hmm. I was only getting 25,000 per month that time. Na hiyo sio pesa mnapangia Lucy. Na tent na cake. Haikuwa mzuri. Then we had so many challenges by the way. When we decided to come out now, we are dating. Kuna mambo ya lulashu nini tunapanga Lucy? Tulipigwa vita sana including a time nduka alikuwa nayo ilibiwa mara tatu kwa mwaka mmoja inakuja tu inaanuliwa mm. inaenda mm. anabaki scratch mm. and manga za nguo zinaenda so that one was challenging because i remember there is this time amenipeleka kwa for introduction akaniambia vile utakuta kwetu ujue ni hivyo kuko na ni hivyo mm. hakuna kitu tumeficha <laughs> like <laughs> tumeonyesha gari ziko huku chini <laughs> hapa <laughs> fridge kwa hapa chini eh, kuko kwenye kuko mm-hmm. na huyo utaona mamangu ni ye mamangu mm. so ukiambiwa na mtu hivyo etetao zio jipange sio kazi naambia anga mtu jikazi <laughs> so na nikaenda nikapata hivyo ndiyo kuko mm. but i really appreciate and kwanza time ya rulashi mm. guy they remember there is this relative another relative alikuwa na rulashi yake tu april kama yangu mm. kwa kulienda kukaangushwa 200000 well well now there is you <laughs> na huyu kijana wako amejua duka mara tatu <laughs> Na they came sasa wanakuangalia wanashindwa. Sasa wanashindwa. Nini ni umeona kwa haka kwa kaka mtu sasa katakupea mm. hii. Yeah. Yeah. Kuna point yenye ilifika like either you or the, uh, Mr. Kathuri akafeel ngistafanya tusifanye harusi is too much. Of course. Mm. At some point tulikuwa tunaangalia tunaona haki mashinda ni mingi. Na ni kuja kufanya harusi. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Tunaambia na utuchukuane. I remember there is a time he called me akaniambia ukifunga shule kuja Nairobi tumaliza hii maneno. Mm-hmm. 